Welcome back, welcome back, and you know, glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to a higher. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope, uh, and I sure hope that you all are saved and have given your life to Christ Jesus. I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them, and I promise tomorrow not even the rest of this day. If you, are, if you know, I hope that you are saved. You have given your life to Christ Jesus. You go down and you have been baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ and that for the mission of your sins. And you read God's word daily, preferably the King James Version of the Bible. And um, you cry out to him in sincerity and truth and that you have a personal relationship with him. Father wants a personal relationship with each and every one of his children. He seeks that. And um, if you haven't heard from him, keep crying out to him till you hear from him. He'll answer. Not only that, he'll teach you the word of God. And you must live a life of daily repentance because we live in these fleshly bodies and the body is always warring with the flesh. The flesh is always warring with the spirit, excuse me. The flesh, which is the body, is always warring with the spirit, okay? With that being said, today we're on Ezekiel chapter 3. The Lord appoints Ezekiel to stand watch. But before we begin our reading, we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. Glory be to Ahia. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Father, for keeping me overnight. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word. Thank you, Father, for giving us siblings that we love. And thank you, Father, for you being who you are. We all love thee, Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 3, the Lord appoints Ezekiel to stand watch. Seven days after I had seen the brightness of the Lord's glory, the Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, I have appointed you to watch, to stand watch for the people of Israel. So listen to what I say, then warn them for me. When I tell wicked people they will die because of their sins, you must warn them to turn from their sinful ways so they won't be punished. If you refuse, you are responsible for their death. However, if you do warn them and they keep on sinning, they will die because of their sins and you will be innocent. Now, suppose faithful people start sinning and I decide to put stumbling blocks in their paths to make them fall. They deserve to die because of their sins. So if you refuse to warn them, I will forget about the times they were faithful and I will hold you responsible for their death. But if you do warn them and they listen to you and stop sinning, I will let them live. And you will be innocent. The Lord took control of me and said, Stand up, go into the valley, and I will talk with you there. I immediately went to the valley where I saw the brightness of the Lord's glory, just as I had seen near the Sheba River. And I bowed with my face to the ground. His spirit took control of me and lifted me to my feet. Then the Lord said, Go back and lock yourself in your house. You will be tied up to keep you inside. And I will make you understand to talk or to warn those who have rebelled against me. But the time will come when I will tell you what to say, and you will again be able to speak my message. Some of them will listen, others will be stubborn and refuse to listen. Well, God's willing, tomorrow will be on, we're still in the book of Ezekiel, we'll be on chapter 4, Ezekiel acts out an attack on Jerusalem. You all tell your loved ones that you love them, and I promise tomorrow not, even the rest of this day, tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some, he died for us all. So please live for the Lord. If you haven't given your life, please do so. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That is not something up for debate or discussion. That's something we all must do, so please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. Forgive. You must forgive. If you want Father God to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, you must forgive your fellow man. All right? For his sins or transgressions. I love you all to love the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.